What is up my NeoVim friends? Today I'm going to show you how to set your color scheme in NeoVim and show you a few tips and tricks and some awesome color themes that I've picked up along the way. Let's jump into it. All right, we're here at the terminal and we need to make sure that we have a terminal or a terminal emulator that has true colors enabled. And that means that it has the full spectrum of all the different colors. And the one that I'm using here is Kitty. I know that iTerm2 and Alacrity are also two other terminals that support true color. So just make sure that before you do this, your terminal that you're using does support that. This is where my NVIM configuration directory is. This is where it is by default in your config NeoVim. Now in here, I have a few different folders. And the first one I have is init Lua, which is gonna be your main file. And then Lua, which is gonna be where all your plugins go or where your other custom configuration goes. For me, I have an after directory and this is what I put all of my plugins into. So you can have an after plugin and this will load all of your different plugins. We'll get to that in a minute. But right now, what we want to do, go into our hacker. And so mine is inside of Lua. And so if we open up InVim here, and this is our default color scheme. So we don't have any nice colors set up. So if we go into Lua, Exosiphon, and then you should have a Packer Lua. And you'll notice some highlighting, and I'm getting all of this from Tree Sitter. You also wanna install a plugin that has Tree Sitter support. So you get some nice highlighting and you don't have to configure it all yourself. So we're gonna install a theme called Grubbox, and I'll put this link in the description. Essentially, you can have a dark or a light mode. Uh, both look really awesome and they're inspired by the Solarize theme and many others like Jelly Bean. You can set this explicitly in some of the configuration options, but for us, since my OS is configured to use dark mode, it's gonna to default to dark mode. There's other ways you can configure it differently, so just check in the configuration. All right, we're gonna to wanna to grab this line right here to use Grubbox because we're using Packer. We come back over here, then we can go down to this line and paste. Now we wanna save this file and source it so we can do SO to source the file. This will let us get access to this packer sync command. And this will then install and you should see the install happening here and this line where it installed correctly. Quit that and then if we do color scheme and Grovebox. Success. So we needed to install our color scheme and then use this color scheme command to set our color scheme for us. Now, the problem with this is if we quit Vim and we go back into it, then we again don't see our theme being applied. And in our after plugin, now for you, this may be in the plugin directory. I put all my stuff into after plugin because this is how you can customize or get some specific stuff. It's just a, a way that I've been able to customize my different themes, but you'll want to create a file called colors.lua. In here, you're gonna wanna add this command here where it says vim command and color scheme grubbox. You save this file and we quit out of NeoVim now, if we go back in, we should see that our color scheme has now stayed. It'll stay this way every time that we open up NeoVim. Success. Now that you know how to install one theme, there's a ton of other themes and I'll link this in the description. This article by alpha 2 Phi shows all these different themes with tree setter support. And so one of the really popular ones is Everforest. Uh, Tokyo Night is also very popular. Uh, Capuchin, Grubbox Material, which is a little bit of a variation on Grubbox that we just installed. So check out these themes, play around with them, install a few of them, and if you just update the color scheme there, then you can change which one you're using. Another really awesome option is to install this other plugin called Lua Line, and then this, you can also customize what theme you're using. So if we go into the different themes here, we can see that there's a bunch of themes and Grubbox is actually one that uh, we can support. So if we go back into our NeoVim config and we go into Lua line, in here, I've commented out our theme. So let's just bring that back. And if we source our file, 
then we should see our Lua line also have this grub box theme, which is super awesome. If you just can't find a theme that you really like, or you really like creating your own stuff, Lush is one way to create your own. And you can use this to export into whatever format you want so that you aren't dependent on Lush. And it'll export as like a Lua table or Vim script or any other format. And so if you really wanna dig into creating your own theme, I would highly recommend this. And what this is gonna do is get you to define all the colors for different highlight groups. And so default words in your editor, uh, tree sitter keywords or language specific keywords, those are all gonna be things that you need to define when you're defining your own theme. If you like videos like this, hit that like and subscribe button and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks again for watching.